My name is Ben Gramico, and this is a gas-fired heating system. I've been told it has a cracked heat exchanger inside. Home inspectors perform visual-only inspections, so we never really get the chance to tear things apart and see what's inside until now. I've got my tools, we've got the heater, let's have some fun. So we have the gas valve here, mechanism. Um, there's no pilot light, it's an intermittent pilot, so that gives us the efficiency. There isn't a standing flame all the time. There's no uh, button to push down, it's simply an on and off switch here. And there's where the gas um, comes through, and it goes through these little ports here. And it allows air and gas to shoot through these burner ports through here. And um, here's gas supplied from the main valve to the pilot light right there. And it's on the, the middle burner. So there's the, uh, the intermittent pilot light and sensor. Let's just keep pulling these components out. The burners simply slide right out. And here's where the uh, the crossover is, the bridge. So the flames shoot in, ignite, and then the flames cross over from one burner to the next. And I'll get my flashlight to see what's inside. So there's a, um, a plate on the top where the exhaust gases are pulled through. The combustion air pulls, um, is pulled through the heat exchanger and is exhausted outwards and goes to this plate. And you can see some zinc oxide, the white stuff, and it's restricted because we want to control the heat exhaust gases inside the heat exchanger as long as possible. And um, very little air is being pushed out through this little restrictor plate. And it's this hole is according to the BTUs and the design of the heating system. Take off that front cover. There's a draft inducer fan pulling combustion air through the heat exchanger. It serpentines up through, and um, we could take this off here, but I can see the, the blades of the fan that are spinning through there. And there's an arrow showing the exhaust direction, so you know that it's not a, a, forced, um, it's a, a, um, a forced draft, it's an induced draft, so it's inducing a draft. It's pulling combustion air down here through the heat exchanger and up and out. And this is the draft, draft inducer fan. Well, we've got some like insulation material for a nice airtight seal. And there's the fan here. So this spins and it pulls combustion air from this area here, exhaust gases. Oh, and it's hooked up to um, these uh, sensors. So we have these sensors here and these tubes, there's air tubes, so there's pressure. It's sensing pressure. Um, I really can't tell where these go. There are no holes here, but these are, um, this is our little pressure gauge. And if there's no, no um, ne it's, it's sensing a negative air pressure inside this fan, because it's sucking air. And there's the exhaust gases that come up through the heat exchanger. So we're getting closer to the heat exchanger. Needs a little persuading. All right. So this is some kind of front to the heat exchanger where the exhaust gases are coming up from um, the three chambers and it's uh, centralizing it. And this is where the draft inducer fan was attached. So it's pulling all three. So there's the uh, 
heat exchanger there and I'll get my flashlight and take a look in. Before we get there, let's, let's see if we can pull out some of the sides of the jacket. What I'm finding out is that there are a lot of screws to take out, but we're getting progress. So here's, here's another sensor here. So on the side, there's another sensor we have sensing um, the pressure inside the heat exchanger or the pressure, air pressure inside the um, draft inducer fan. And we're getting to the side of the heat exchanger. Oh, wow. Great. Let's open this up. Well, there wasn't any insulation on the jacket on this side. And here's, looks like a heat shield, I would say. Because there's the heat exchanger. So that's just the heat shield here. And it's riveted. So I'll use some persuasion. Here's the heat exchanger. Here's the dark mark. This is an indication of some overheating, th some thermal expansion. And right here is a crack in the heat exchanger. Amazing. And it's right here where this um, discolored area is. So. Here's where the burners are. Remember the burner ports? They go inside there. The flames come up. This has been overheated and it has um, deformed the metal and um, it has cracked the heat exchanger. And it's here, it's in the back side here. There is no way you could visually see this. So be careful what you say about the heat exchanger as a home inspector. There's no way you can see this. without tearing it apart. And here comes the heat exchanger. And there's the other heat shield. And here's some insulation where there isn't a heat shield. This is on the back of the heating system. And you um, can't see this at all when you're doing an inspection. There's the heat shield there. And there's the blower area here. There's a large opening here and the air comes up through and to the bottom of it, heat exchanger. So here's the top of the heat exchanger. If you can imagine hot air coming from the blower, this is the bottom of the heat exchanger here and it comes up and it does a little squiggle there, a little serpentine there and it gets heated up and it goes up into the, um, well, if there's an air conditioner coil, that would be the air conditioner coil area, and then the main plenum. And here on the back is that crack in the heat exchanger, right there. This is the view from the bottom. So the air from the blower goes up through, goes up through and does a little serpentine to slow down the airflow so it can um, exchange or release the heat from the heat exchanger metal to the air passing through. And the hot exhaust gases are inside, the burners are inside, hot exhaust gases swirl up and go out through the draft inducer fan. And really can't see any more damage or cracks, although um, there might be. And in here, there's a little sensor that's sensing probably down here inside the heat exchanger. It's sensing the heat of the air so that we know the, the heat and it's probably a, a kill switch. If it's too hot or what's going on. So this is one of the testers here. 
and if we pull that out, that's stuck inside the airflow of the, of the hot air going through the heat exchanger. So this is, this is why it was pulled out, this little crack right here. This failed the whole heat exchanger and the whole heating system had to be replaced. And this is not visible during a home inspection. That's about it.